Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how we can add the responsive images in HTML using the image element. Let's try to see it. Normally, how you will do? So we will add the image element, something like img src is equal to whatever the image you want, you will, you will, you will add it. So here in this one, we are having three images. Those are first one is large image. Another one is same image medium and last one is the small image. Let's try to add one by one. So I am adding a large image. So this is our IMG. Let's try to open the here. Now if I try to open this for the output in the browser, we will be able to see a large image. And here I have written a text that it is a large. Now if you try to see the inspect element, I am trying to do the inspect element. I am taking this one. Uh, what I can say for Firefox why because the Chrome will get cache it so in the Firefox we can able to see the response image how that how that behaves now in the network if you try to see if I try to refresh it again and here we are able to find so if you go to the images so we are able to find two images that is first one is the fav icon and another one is an minion large so fine so two images are there and this one is got uh, cache it 304 so let's try to uh, refresh it without uh, let's remove this one all okay so reload it now uh, let's try to remove this one all okay or otherwise what i will try to do is i will try to disable the cache and here i will try to refresh it now if i try to refresh it it is getting 200 requests so that is means it is getting back the data from the server and the image of this one is around 110 kb 100 kb let's say 110 kb it is there now as this is a desktop thing so we are showing the large image and which is having of something around 1000 into 562 pixels. So 1000 pixel width of um, uh, the image I am trying to show it in the desktop. So fine. So 110 KB it's fine. Now what I want to do is for example let's say that I went to the mobile thing. Okay. So for example let's say that I went to the mobile thing. So which is very small if I try to refresh it. So here I am trying to do I am trying to show the large image. So if I want to fit it what i can do i can do img and i can do the width of 100 percent so this is normally completely fine if i try to see the output so this one large image is trying to fit it here but what is the original size of this one so for example if you try to see the original width of this one is less than 1000 pixel only but the image image uh, image size is uh, minimum size is 1000 pixel width is 1000 pixel but here the width of the screen is less than 1000 pixel so the image what we are trying to show it is the 110 kb so taking so much of bandwidth and the memory and we are trying to show the large image and we are trying to shrinking it and we are showing it as a small image now here it is better for us if we try to show the small image okay so let's say zoom now if i try to see the output so this is sufficient for me okay so this is sufficient for me instead of showing this large image this is sufficient and if you try to see this small image it is around 20 kb only okay so now whenever we are having we are showing this what i can say in the mobile image in, uh, in the mobile responsive thing if we try to show the small image which is having less less memory and also the render size also it will be very less it will be very fine for us now if you try to show that same small thing in in here in the desktop means it will it will be shrinked off why because the pixel it will be pixelated so why because so we are trying to show very uh, small image in a very big manner so if you try to see here and if i try to use the large image okay let's try to say i will be using this large image now if you try to see the output it is somewhat fine okay previously compared to pixelated thing it is somewhat fine so how we can tell the browser that according to the response you think according to the device uh, device thing and all those things so take the particular image so how we can how we can define that one so we have in the html we have an attribute that is nothing but src set okay so this is a src set and this one will give will take the multiple images okay it will take the multiple images that is nothing but first one is url and the second one is a width descriptor and the pixel density so this one also we can see it so here it will be taking two types of things so now here i can remove this source set and here i can add in a such a way that so right now we are ha i am having three types of images one is large image and second one is a medium image and the last one is the small image so these are the three types of image i am having 
let's try to add these three types of image first one i am adding minion underscore small dot jpg okay so comma oriented i am taking so minion underscore medium dot jpg okay and here i will be having minion underscore small dot uh, sorry large dot jpg large dot jpg okay so these are the three images which i am having now depending on the resolution and all those things so these three images should decide that which image has to appear right now if i try to see the output none of the image appears why because i am not using the source i am using the source set now whatever the images so the comma oriented images we are using for each image we need to tell that so from which from which pixel density onwards we from which pixel onwards i need to come so let's say that here it needs to come from uh let's say 500 so here we will be giving the pixel width so here we will be notating with the w so now 500 pixel and below so minion underscore small has to come and here minion underscore medium means so it should come something around 800 pixel and below and this one has to come to 1200 and below okay so now let's try to see the output so now how it will try to show it let's try to see it now if i try to see the output see immediately we got here okay let's try to open the inspect element and i will try to um, separate window i will try to take it yeah here i am having the small image and immediately it has shifted to medium image and now when it has reached the 1200 pixel okay the 1200 pixel it has gone with the large image see so this is how we can define this one so 500 pixel and bigger below and between this 800 it will be get uh, 800 and 1200 you will be getting this uh what i can say 800 and below you will be getting this medium image and large image you will be getting 1200 and above so here if you try to see the output so that is the same thing it is happening so first one is the small image and for example if i try to show you the responsive thing then you will understand so let's try to take this as a responsive thing okay now here so this all is then so now when when i got improve this 500 so it has increased this 500 so 500 and below we are getting the small and between this 500 and 800 up to 800 you will get the you you will get the medium image so between 500 and uh, this one so you'll get the medium image and after this 800 1200 up to 1200 you will get the up to 1200 you you 1200 below you'll get the large image so after the 1200 we don't have anything right so it will take the large image only so this is how we can define the image for this one so we can define the image so what is the use of this one for example let's say that we are on the 300 pixel okay now let's try to say that so here i am adding here in the network i am trying to take let's try to see i have disabled the cache now if i try to refresh this page so here it needs to take the small only right see the the only small image has been rendered why because so in the source set we have written in such a way like this for example if i go to the medium now if i try to refresh it if i try to refresh it this one see this time medium jpg has been took so not the large or small so according to the resolution and all those things so small or medium or large will be taken small will be taken 500 and below so this one we need to mention it like this so between 500 to 800 you will be having up to 800 you will be having this medium image and up to 1200 you will be having this large image so after the 1200 nothing is mentioned so because of this reason so we have used this this one so for example if you if you don't want also you, you there is no need to mention this one so that it will take like this only okay so it will have oh sorry so it should not happen it should you should not give it this one so like this we need to mention so now we need to have we need to also mention the fallback scenario for this one why because it will support in the some modern browsers only so if, we, if the browser doesn't support this src set so we need to use this uh, fallback mechanism so that the source will be followed by all the browsers now this is how we will be writing now if we try to see the output the same thing happens small medium and also the large okay so this is how you will be mentioning and the another scenario what you will have is you can also uh, other than this src set you can also mention the sizes also so if you try to so for example let's say that sizes now i can write the exactly css media query how we will be writing the css media query we can write it like this now for example let's say that min width is of about um, 1300 pixel so if it is of about if it is greater than 1300 pixel means so now i will tell i will tell that 
so you should you should consider it as 500 pixel image only so you should take the 500 pixel image or otherwise 600 pixel image okay so now when the screen size is greater than 1300 pixel okay 1300 and pixel and 1300 pixel or more so you should take the image which is supports in the 600 pixel what is the image that supports in the 600 pixel so this supports 500 pixel and below this medium image supports between the 500 to 800 means this 600 comes between this one so that means medium image will be supported let's try to see that whether it is supported or not now here you are getting small immediately shifted to medium large and again it shifted to medium see so when we reached this uh, what i can say 1300 pixel when i am crossing this 1300 pixel large has been shifted to medium so you can also use this sizes attribute to define the uh, resolution width so which image has to appear according to this one so now here you are you are saying that the image which is appearing in the 600 pixel re resolution so that image only should be taken after the 1300 pixel means now what is the image medium image for example let's say that i, I have added it 400 pixel okay so now so if you have so here the automatically small image has been shifted so here if you try to see all small medium large and again small has been came so now if you try to add something like width of 500 pixel okay now let's try to see what will happen now here the small image has been took okay now large image medium small so same thing happens so but but what we have did so we have mentioned this one size as 500 pixel okay width of 500 pixel in that 500 pixel it will try to fit it so here this is how we will be using this src set and the sizes combination so src set what it will try to do it will try to take the multiple images and we depending on the pixel ratio so pixel width how much you are giving so in that below it will take so last one it will take as the default one and here the sizes thing and also you can mention the sizes scenario so you can also give something comma oriented also you can go on give like that this is our css media query so how you will be giving min width and max width in the same scenario we can use it so this is all about this src set and the sizes how you will be adding the responsive images using the html hope you understood about this src set if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.